Before I realized it, I had eaten it. I enjoyed the taste in my mouth. Then, I went back to sleep. The next day, I changed my clothes. I left my room. I found my parents sitting at the breakfast table. Good morning, dear. Good morning, Dad. Good morning, sweetie. Come have breakfast. Good morning, Mom. I'm not hungry. I'll go to school now. I won't be late. You should have breakfast. It's still early. I know, but I'm worried about exams. I can't eat. That's not good, dear. You need food to have energy. Don't worry, Dad. I'll eat when I get back. See you later. I said goodbye and left the house. I got into the car and went to school. When I arrived, I went to class. My friend Lucy saw me and said, Emma, are you okay? Your face looks pale. I'm fine, don't worry. I'm your close friend, like a sister. If you want to talk about anything, let me know. Of course, Lucy. The teacher came in and started the lesson. A few hours passed, and it was break time. I was feeling very hungry. I wanted to eat gold. My eyes fell on my friend Emily's gold ring. Let's go get some food. You go first. I need to go to the bathroom. Okay. Lucy left, and I watched her. Emily put her ring in her bag. She left the classroom. I also left. After making sure the classroom was empty, I sneaked in, opened Emily's bag, took out the ring. I started eating it happily. Wow, it's so delicious. I quickly left the classroom and went to Lucy. Aren't you going to get something to eat? No, I had breakfast before I came to school. All right. We talked until break time ended. I went back to class. After about 30 minutes, Emily said in a panic. Excuse me, teacher. My gold ring is missing. I can't find it. How did that happen, Emily? Think carefully about where you put it. I put it in my bag, but now it's gone. Search carefully. You'll find it. Emily searched, but then she said sadly. I can't find it, teacher. Did anyone see Emily's ring? We all said. No, no teacher. teacher. Emily started crying. The teacher helped her look for the ring, but no one could find it. It was already in my stomach. Hours passed, and the school day ended. I went home, and my mom asked. How was your day, my dear? It was good, thank God. Wait, where's the bracelet your dad gave you? Oh, I probably forgot to wear it. She looked at me suspiciously, and I quickly said, I'll go change my clothes now. I quickly ran to my room. I changed my clothes. I went to sleep. I woke up in the evening feeling very hungry. Oh no, how will I get gold to eat now? 
Then I remembered my mom's gold jewelry. Maybe if I took some, she wouldn't notice since she had so much. I went to my parents' room while they were sleeping. I opened the closet slowly. Took some of her gold bracelets. I went back to my room and ate them happily. Days passed and I stopped eating anything. I only ate gold. I would take my mom's jewelry while she was sleeping. She didn't know. One day, while sitting with my parents, my mom said worriedly. Some of my gold jewelry is missing. This has never happened before. Maybe you put it somewhere and forgot. No, I always keep it in my closet. I'm afraid there's a thief or maybe one of the housemaids took it. I don't think so. The guards are outside and the maids have been with us for years. They wouldn't do something like that. Well, look for it again. Yes, I agree with Dad. All right, I'll search again. Since that day, I stopped taking my mom's gold. I decided to find another way to get gold. So, no one would find out. I went to my dad and said, I want to go out with my friends tonight. Okay, but be careful, my dear. I will, dad. In the evening, I dressed up and left the house. I got into the car and told the driver the address of the restaurant. When we arrived, I said, You can leave. I'll call you when I want to come back. No, I'll wait for you. You might need something. I don't want to repeat myself. Go. All right. He left. When I made sure he was gone, I got a taxi and told the driver. Take me to a gold shop. Okay. After a few minutes, we arrived at the store. I gave him the money. I went inside. Hello, how can I help you? I want to buy some gold bars. They're very expensive. That's okay. Tell me how much they are. He told me the price. I gave him the money. I took the gold bars. I put them in my bag. I took another taxi back home. When I arrived, my dad was surprised to see me home early. Are you all right, Emma? Yes, don't worry. Something urgent came up with my friend, so I came home early. Okay, dear. And dad, please call the driver and tell him I'm home. He doesn't know because I told him to leave. I came back with my friend's car. All right, I'll tell him. Thank you. I went to my room, locked the door tightly. I started eating the gold bars quickly. When I finished, I went to sleep. Days passed, and every night I ate gold. One day, while I was eating gold, the door opened, and it was my dad. He looked shocked and said, Oh my God, Emma, what are you doing? Dad, before I could finish, I collapsed. The last thing I heard was my dad screaming. When I woke up, I was in the hospital. My mom was crying. Where am I? What happened? Emma, are you okay, dear? What happened to you? Before I could answer, 
the doctor came in and said, Thank God, Emma is okay. Your dad saved your life. If he hadn't brought you here in time, your condition would have been much worse. What's wrong with her, doctor? Is she all right now? I'm sorry to say this, but after running tests, I found out she's addicted to eating gold. She has been consuming gold in an uncontrollable way. Yes. When I went into her room, I found her eating gold frantically. Then she passed out, so I brought her here. Yes, you'll need to take care of her. Make sure she eats healthy food and stays away from gold completely. It will be hard at first, but over time, she'll return to normal and be fine. Thank you so much, doctor. No need to thank me. I'll prescribe some medicine to help her. My dad thanked the doctor, and he left. I didn't know how this had happened to me. I started crying and said, It's all my fault. I did this to myself. Tell us what happened exactly. I told them everything, and when I finished, they said, Don't cry, dear. We're here for you and we'll help you get better. Yes, dear, don't worry. Thank you so much. I'm sorry for doing such bad things. Don't apologize. Just help us so we can overcome this together. Okay, I'll try. We left the hospital. I started eating healthy food. I stayed away from gold. It was very difficult, but over time, I started feeling better. Thanks to my parents. And that's the end of my story, friends. I hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next story.